Peace. This is Equality Fragrances from PG County, Maryland, and welcome to my cypher. A cypher is a person, place, a thing within my circumference of understanding of my cypher is peace. To all my returning subscribers, I humbly thank you. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, come on in, sit down, and let's build. <laughs> Blessed morning, my beautiful people. You know it is. It's your boy, C to you to the B to the A. <laughs> guys, it's happening, guys. The best fragrance for men is Mont Blanc Individual, the sweet fabric softener with the raspberry touch. <laughs> well, what's up, everybody? I'm Aaron. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. Let's talk about tobacco beneath from Tampo. What's up, Raven World? My name is Justin from Stay Fresh Productions. Today we're going to be talking about fragrances. These fragrances are uh, balsamic, slightly uh, masculine fragrances. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm going to get better on my Stay Fresh Productions. I'm going to do better on that one. I'm going to get better at that. My name is Big Big Business. <laughs> uh, stay tuned. That video is coming. It's coming. Coming. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy on this channel. We talk about men's fragrances and fashion as well. So if you love looking good and smelling great, you found the right channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and also make sure you hit the bell icon as well to ensure you get notified when I upload new content on the channel. Guys, on today's video, we're going to be talking about 10 fragrances in my collection that have been blowing my mind. In other words, I've been really enjoying these 10 fragrances. A lot of these are a little bit more newer acquisitions to the collection, um, but I do have a few on here that I've had for a little minute, but I kind of circled back around to them and kind of gave them a second look, if you will. So I have 10 fragrances on this list. We've done, I, I've done a list like this uh, before where I talked about 10 fragrances that were blowing my mind, but I have 10 other fragrances that have been blowing my mind. So these are some really good pickup for me. Uh, some that I've really been enjoying, so if you want to see what made the list today, you know the routine. Keep it locked, right here. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're about to jump into this list. Uh, really quick, guys, uh, I talked to you guys a few videos ago. I mentioned the fact that, you know, with it being uh, fall season now, uh, soon, of course, we're want not too far from the winter season uh, to start looking at some of those heavier fabrics. This is another one of those flannel suits that I got from Spear McKay. Guys, just so you know, I always have that link down below if you want to check out Spear McKay. Uh, they have a lot of... Uh, nice things for for men we, uh, as it relates to men's wear suits uh shoes they actually have ties shirts the whole nine so check them out if you're looking to upgrade your your men's wear or suit game make sure you check out spear and mckay i have been loving the stuff from spear and mckay so we're gonna go ahead and jump into the actual fragrance now the first one that i have on the list today is from the house of amazing francis kirkdown and this is called a la rose now, this is one that I've recently, more recently acquired within the last month or so. And, and let me say this about this one. This is more of a fresh take on a rose fragrance for men. Now, I'm accustomed to the rose and ooze and rose and incense combination. Those are a little bit more common. But again, this one goes in more of a fresh kind of green direction. Similar to what I experienced when I smelled Killian's uh, A Kiss from a Rose, but except for, to me, this one is a little bit more Things a little bit more masculine than that one. That one was very feminine, a very feminine leaning fragrance. Whereas this one, again, uh, the guys can definitely get away with wearing a more fresh rose fragrance. And uh, that's something that you're looking for. I think you would enjoy this one. It has uh, sage and labdanum as it dries down. So again, making it, in my opinion, start to move that needle a little bit more back to uh, the masculine side of things. But man, beautiful. Fresh green rose fragrance right here from MFK. I've been really enjoying this one, although it's not really 
now we're entering into the season where I won't get to wear this one as much, but spring and summer, especially spring roll back around, this is gonna be in high rotation. So from the house of MRK, I've been really enjoying this one. This one is called A La Rose. Now this next fragrance, I actually mentioned this last week on one of my videos. I'm not gonna go into detail about it, but I really enjoy this one, guys, from Mason Margella. The newest release, this one is called Autumn Vibes. Autumn Vibes, and again, I, I, I went into great detail, well, some detail last week on my video when I talked about this fragrance. It just smells like the fall. It smells good. It's one that I highly recommend. This is not, I will tell you now, it's not like a mass appealing kind of fragrance, but again, when you look at that, art, that artistry of fragrances and what <clears throat> they do uh, in this line with Replica, uh, as it says on the bottle, reproduction of familiar scents and moments uh, and locations. And this is the fall. So check it out. I've really been enjoying this one. I love the creativity in this particular scent. This again is called Autumn Vibes. This next fragrance, I've been really enjoying this one. This honestly, right now, I am sure if I had to do like my top 20, 25 fragrances in my collection, this is definitely in the conversation, maybe even inching towards the top 10 because this is how much I really love this fragrance from Roja Dove. This is called Burlington 1819. Because for me and my style personality and what I like to wear, this stuff just works. With a suit and tie, you cannot go wrong with this fragrance. In a formal situation, you cannot go wrong with this fragrance. The best way to sum it up, there's a lot of notes in here, but it's very, very spicy and masculine. I love this fragrance, man. So if you haven't put your nose on it, um, of course, this is a little bit more on the expensive side. So I would say uh, if you can't get a sample, but man, I love everything about this from the way it smells to the bottle presentation. An absolute amazing fragrance. I love this stuff. Again, this is called Burlington 1819. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list comes from the house of By Killian, and this is called Low Vert. Low Vert, and it has that absinthe note in here. Kind of, in a weird way, kind of reminds me of A Taste of Heaven from By Killian, which was uh, which is a fragrance that was discontinued uh, from By Killian, but uh, that one was a little bit more on the sweeter side. Uh, I enjoy this one a lot. I thought I would probably love the uh, Apple Brandy on the rocks more than the uh, Low Vert, but I gotta be honest, man, this one kind of wins out. It's more of kind of, kind of gives you that kind of Fougere kind of vibe with that slight booziness from the absinthe in here. But it's a really, really, nice fragrance i really enjoy it i love the fact that you know again for my style personality it's something i could really wear almost every day if i wanted to and get away with it it would really match well with how i carry myself and how i dress so love this one from the house of by Killian. again this one is called low vert all right guys this next fragrance i have talked a lot about this one here more in the recent uh, more recent uh history here on this channel and i'm going to continue to talk about it because i absolutely adore this scent from the house of Initio Parfums. This one is called Bless Baraka. Bless Baraka. Amber, sandalwood, and cinnamon are some of the main notes here. And this thing smells great, man. It's so unique, man. This is a very, very unique uh, scent right here to me. Very, very unique. And um, again, just from my personal taste, it's something that I really enjoy. This is one I can't stop putting my nose to this itemizing smell in the scent. It just smells that freaking good. So check it out from the House of Initio Parfums. Again, this is Blessed Baraka. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list, a very popular fragrance, but I gotta give it up, man. I've really been enjoying this one as of late, especially since the fall has hit. From the House of Christian Dior, this is Sauvage Elixir. Sauvage Elixir. I wasn't quite sure uh, where I stood with this one when I first put my nose on it, <clears throat> when I gave my first impression on this fragrance, but now that the fall season has uh, has come around, we're in full spring or fall, and the weather has cooled down over the past, you know, two or three weeks here, and I've had a chance to really wear this and experience it in the cool weather, man, absolute gem right here. Absolute gem. You know, I'm just kind of, you know, uh, kind of over the top about presentation in my collection. I really hope, wish that they had this in the, <laughs> in the larger bottle just like the other fragrances that I have the my other Sauvage fragrances but you know it's just a small gripe of mine 
But outside of that, man, the scent DNA by itself, man, the enhanced spices in this fragrance, again, that nutmeg and cinnamon that you get in this. Again, the Dior Sauvage DNA is kind of in the background, but man, this stuff is absolutely amazing. I've been really enjoying this one from the house of Christian Dior. Check out the Sauvage Elixir if you have not yet. Make sure you check it out. All right, guys, now this next fragrance comes from the house of Amouage. Now, this is one that I kind of circled back around to and I've been really enjoying it. I'm going to tell you a quick story about it, but this one is called Sunshine Man. This is called Sunshine Man. Now, funny story, I bought this one time, and <clears throat> initially when I bought it, I ended up selling the fragrance. For some, and I think I did that because I bought it and it was more in the warmer months of the year. And most people automatically assume when you hear the name Sunshine Man that this is a summer fragrance. Ink. I think this is perfect for the fall season and i've been wearing it more and i wore it more in the cooler temperatures i got i acquired it again uh some time ago and when i've worn it again it's been in the cooler months of the year and that's where this stuff shines i think it has bourbon in here like an orange a brandy an orange brandy note uh in this fragrance immortel would kind of give this immortel give this almost baked bread kind of um appeal to a fragrance it just smells great, man. Again, put it on your skin when it's cool outside. Don't wear this, in my opinion, this is not good to wear when it's hot outside. Again, that brandy um, just doesn't really work. It didn't work for me in the hot weather, but it shines in the cool temperatures. So check it out, man, from the house of Amouage. I've been really enjoying this stuff right here. It's called Sunshine, man. All right, guys, this next, well, the next two fragrances, I'm gonna give you a quick two for one. Uh, both of these I picked up more recently from the house of Christian Dior, the La Collection Privé um, collection. And this is Vanilla Diorama. And this one is called Tobacalore. Tobacalore. And man, listen, beautiful vanilla fragrance right here. It, it, it does things differently than your typical vanilla fragrance. I'm going to kind of save it because I'm going to do a full review on both of these fragrances. So I won't get much into it right now. But I really enjoy this one. But I think <clears throat> out of the two, I think this is my favorite. Although I really enjoy both of them. This one features a note of honey. And I will tell you, when I first put my nose to this, the honey in this reminds me of by Killian's Back to Black. It reminds me of Back to Black. And I'm not saying this is a clone of that at all because this is a lot more of a kind of a spicier interpretation of that. Uh, with the use of a honey but the honey in this reminds me a lot of the honey in back to black but again i got full reviews coming on both these fragrances but man both of these are fragrances that i've really been enjoying since i picked since i picked them up so vanilla diorama from christian dior and this one is called tobacco all right guys and last but not least on this list of fragrances that i've been really enjoying that's been blowing my mind this one comes from the house of fragrance dubois and this one is called Heritage. This is called Heritage. And man, listen, this is just one of the cleanest, kind of soapy, clean, floral fragrances I've ever put my nose on, man. And this is one that I love. The missus has started to have discovered this one and has start, started to really enjoy this scent as well. Just masterfully done. Masterfully done. Masterfully, uh, masterfully blended. The one hit that I have with this fragrance is uh, for the price point especially, I wish that it would perform better. But again, it's kind of a soapy, clean, uh, floral fragrance with a kind of musky dry down. But this stuff is heavenly, man. You got to put your nose on it to really see what I'm talking about as it relates to the quality of the fragrance. If this thing performed better, man, this would definitely be in my top 10. But for right now, it's one that I'm really, really enjoying. I like to throw this one on now because it's starting to get cooler outside, but like when I get out of the shower, just kind of lounging around the house right now, I do throw this on so I can just experience it because it smells so good. It's so fresh and clean. But uh, check it out, man. I really love this one from the house of Fragrance Dubois. This is called Heritage. All right, guys, that's it. That's my time, man. I hope you enjoyed this video today as I gave you 10 fragrances in my collection that are currently blowing my mind. As always, I sincerely appreciate your viewership, your time, and your attention that you put into watching these videos. You know, of course, you couldn't have been doing anything else in the world. You didn't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take a few moments to make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. 
And make sure you share these videos out to folks that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good. And of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.